Restaurants have had to make a lot of changes, but JJ Grub Shack is one that not only made change, but opened up new restaurants and not just for the community, but for your workers, Regina, uh, yeah. which is so amazing. And today, grand opening. Woohoo! Wow. Yes. But before we get to that, I do have to ask you, and I'm going to probably pretty much the same. What were you thinking about opening a new restaurant at this time where we're seeing restaurants having to close down? But right. you guys said it was time. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having us this morning, Brad. Well, yes, as I mentioned, we were a part of a franchise originally. And then amidst the COVID, we decided to step back and decide what business model was going to make the most sense for our family. So during that time when we shut down our restaurants temporarily, we decided to rebrand under our old name, JJ's Grub Shack. And during that time, we thought long and hard about the decisions that we had to make to open ReSafely. And we made those decisions and we've decided to do it. Yeah, and I think what you just said, a very smart thing is that you guys stopped and talked and worked through things. Absolutely. Because I know a lot of people were in the process of opening new restaurants and then didn't know what to do because they wanted to rush to get them because they had money invested and stuff. But you knew that the community was important first. Absolutely. And along with your employees. So you put some safety measures in, and you had time to look at those safety measures. Absolutely. So one of the things that we've done is we're strictly adhering to CDC guidelines. So we're doing things like all of the employees are required to wear gloves and if you work in the back of the house you have to wear gloves and mask. Um, and then we're also sanitizing all the tables, we're doing social distancing as you can imagine. So in the restaurant as well as at the bar, uh, we're practicing social distancing. So, that was great. All right, let's get into the food and we'll come back to some more questions. I want to make sure we show this food off because I'm just, you know, that is getting big. This, look, from, the, from the resort to this, I'm just going to need to take a like a total workout day. What do we got on the menu? Okay, so we're super excited. We got some themes that just kind of follow backyard, having fun with your friends. We're bar and grill, but we have hundreds of TVs, so it's really exciting. So our one of our openings in Goodyear is today at 11 o'clock from 11 to 8, and we're having some BOGO, so buy one, get one free. Here's one of my favorites. It's called the Piggly Wiggly, and it's barbecue, barbecue pulled pool pork with uh, just accompanied by delicious seasoned fries. Hold that up one more time Absolutely. so they can see that. Just hold that up. Hold right to that camera. Ooh, Absolutely. The Piggly Wiggly. The Piggly Wiggly. You oh, can't go wrong. You'll get your that. grub on with and that. And those one. are steak fries. You guys, you guys are using fries? Little, you're not using little fries. Are you? No, the big fries. no, but hey, if that's your flavor, we also have regular <laughs> fries right. as well for you. And then another, one of our signature po' boys, this is what we call our po' shack. And as you can see, it's just topped. It's mound with shrimp and, and fries and cocktail sauce. It's absolutely delicious. All right, I'm going to let you show that last one and there. And then this last one here, we have some delicious uh, all beef hot dogs, two of them for the young and the old alike. This is an atomic dog. It comes with jalapeno peppers. We have delicious food. You are sure to get your grub on. I love it. It's comfort food that we comfort need right foods, now. Comfort that's food. right. And you guys have it where you can take it home too, right? Absolutely. If you don't want to come into the restaurant, just call ahead. Go to jjsgrubshack.com. Place your order. We'll run it out to your car. You don't even have to touch it. Anyone. I like it. Okay. Let's talk business in a way because I know someone probably right now is watching going, what can I get out of this as a tip to opening up a business at this time, especially with restaurants, with sure. the guidelines and stuff. What's something you can tell someone who's thinking about doing that right now? Uh, establish first and foremost a business plan. Stay true to your plan and work your plan. And then um, ensure that you have the capital that you need because it always takes a little more than you anticipate. And then the guidelines that are out there, adhere to them because it, it really is, they're, they're out there to help your employees as well as the general public. Yeah. So we can't stress that enough that it's important that our guests feel comfortable. So I like that. All right, it's JJ Grubb Shack. And where can they find the locations? JJ's Grub Shack. So we have three great locations. One in Avondale is going to be opening in early June. We have one off I-17 and Happy Valley Road that just opened on May 20th. And today, our kind of soft opening for our Goodyear Opportunity um, restaurant. It's at 15375 West McDowell Road. Come on over and get your grub on. <laughs> Why? Come get the grub on and, and need some business tips. You can come talk to them, which is That's really right. Cool. Come so. on over. 
are. This is great that you're doing this and, and of course making sure that your employees and that's one thing that was very important too to you. I know we're, we're wrapping up here but I want to mention that you made sure that your employees had jobs. That was really important wasn't it? That's right. We had 125 employees that we had to originally lay off and we've been able to extend offers back to most of those employees. So it, employing our workforce was important. So I like it. Thank you Regina. Thank you for there having us. JJ's Crab Shack. Uh, Crab Grub Shack. Grub Shack. Grub JJ's Shack. Grub, Grub Shack. I'm just I'm trying to get to the food. All right, stick around. We got more of the Daily Mix after this. I gotta kiss.